have and to hold for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health till death do us part you know we have heard these words so many times before they have become lines of a song or titles of movies and many of you who are here may remember that moment when you also uttered these words that was a grace-filled moment when beside your beloved you made your promise to each other before god and his church to be together forever there's really nothing new about these words sa tagalog gas gas na ang mga linyang to plaka na but you know there's something wonderful about today because today we shall hear these words once again in a totally different way we shall hear for the very first time marlon and teresa saying these words to each other before his church god's church and before him and so i invite you when that moment comes when they say these words listen attentively listen with your heart not just with your ears chances are you would get to see even the voice of jesus our lord saying these words to his church after all the words of the bride and the groom are words of jesus for us his church kind of life that I have right now. You asked me before, na imagine ko na ba yung life ko as a single, na a single second of it. Hindi ko na ma-imagine kung ano yung life na wala ka. I love you, and I forever will love you. All of this, prayer ko kanina morning, all of this has nothing in compared to the sight of you at the end of the altar. I'm running towards you in covenant with our Lord. I vow to love you. I vow to respect you. I vow to submit promise to you. Love you. And I will give my all in this choosing you every single day. Peace out. Okay, now. Ito, 
Okay, you... This is the day God allowed this to happen. He orchestrated everything from the start, even before we met each other. Our plans, preparations, love for each other and dreams were never ours to begin with. It was His, and He planted this in our hearts. As I look forward to see you in front of the altar, I know that you'll look at your most beautiful, at your best, and that we'll see Jesus in each other. Our ideas might be made on this day only, but I intend to keep it for the rest of our lives. Each new day in our married life will always be a gift from God to express His love to each other. And for that new day, I will choose to love you. I will choose your welfare over anything else. I will choose to serve you as I serve the one who brought you to me. You are and will always be my answered prayer. The one that God prepared for As we journey in this new chapter, I pray that you will love Jesus more than, more than me so that you can give your best to love you in your future family. Mahal na mahal kita, my love, my answered prayer. So practice it. Both of them, at different moments, said the word, sacrament. It's not just a piece of paper. It's not just mutual consent. It must, it's not just the blessing of the priest, it's a sacrament. And so that means it's a, an institution, sacred institution, established by no less than our Lord. And they would want to be together, bonded in love through the sacrament of matrimony. This is meant to be forever. And that's what the line, till death do us part means. We would like to honor the couple here before us. You know, they are doing us a big favor. It's a beautiful testimony that they are doing. Marlon and Teresa, who still believe in the sacredness of marriage and the institution of the family. Marlon and Teresa, many of your friends would tell you today, and perhaps they have already told you, this is the happiest moment of your life. Diba? Nasabi na yan, ano? Ito yung pinakamasayang araw sa buhay ninyo. Maririnig niyo pa yan over and over again today. I beg to disagree. No. This is not the happiest moment of your life. Why? Why? Because if today were the happiest moment of your life, that means you have already reached the peak and if you're not able to sustain that peak experience, the days that would follow today would be a downward movement of that happiness. No. Instead, I tell you, you are starting a beautiful journey of the happiest moments of your life. And you're beginning it today with the Lord. And so what a wonderful journey it would be laid out before you no longer as two separate individuals but as the gospel of matthew would tell us the lord says now the two shall become one and so your two lives will become just one life from today together to get there that's the program of life that you would have if God was there from the very beginning, Marlon, Teresa, He would always be there for you. He would always be there for you. That's His promise. Well, this is what you have to do. You have to be there for Him. And so keep in touch with Him. If you would look up with your heart, you would imagine God with His Son, Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, with Mama Mary, and with all the saints and angels in heaven making a stand for you. And what are they saying, Marlon, Teresa? 
we believe in you and the whole heavenly host is making a stand for you. We would send you all the graces that you need to make it a reality. You do your part and leave the rest to me. Jesus tells you that. In full surrender, with a grateful heart, we praise your name for all that was. With full of faith, we submit our future days to you. Be in our midst. Be the God who will calm our hearts through hardships, the source of grace in all our needs. The wisdom in our words, the patience in prayers, the answers in our questions. Lord, we want to honor you. We want to honor your name through our covenant with you. Guide us in this new journey. Embrace our parents, our families. You know better, Jesus. You love them far more than our heart's capacity. We are not leaving anyone behind. Rather, with peace, forgiveness, love, and joy, we embark in this new life with them. My love will never fail you. I can imagine my life apart from my family. And for giving me the grace, kung nasa na ako ngayon, and yung blessing and yung wisdom. Thank you. Nice. Bye. Peace. Hal na bahal ko po kayo. Thank you sa lahat. Where I am right now is all because of you. I owe it all to you. I owe it all to you. Sobrang bahal na bahal ko yung mga kapatid ko. And sa bawat tulong na ginagawa nila sa akin. Salamat. Yung kuya ko, saka yung ate ko, kung hindi sa sakripisyo nila, wala ako ngayon. Ate, kuya, walang nasayang, napagod niyo. Maraming maraming salamat. Itong wedding na to, talaga, sabi ko, ang importante ng family ko. Family ko at si Marlon. That's how I am committed on giving back the gratefulness I have in my heart for my guys. Guys, salamat. Salamat. You are the source of our strength. Kaya kami magkasama ngayon dahil sa inyo. Kaya yung kasama namin sa lahat. Maraming maraming salamat for being here. It's all because of grace. Sobrang bait ni Lord. Lord, Lord, thank you for giving me a future, for giving me the assurance that I have someone with me in the future. You are home to me. My love will We're nothing but grateful. We're nothing but grateful to God sa inyo lahat for those who stayed, um, for those who attended, for those who sacrificed their sleep on a, on a Saturday nonetheless. Yun yung sabi ni Father, kung meron man na ayaw mangyari itong kasal na to, it will be the same. It will be the same who will want this to happen. And it will it's God. And He wanted this to happen. Kaya kahit anong mangyari, kahit anong problema, kahit anong away, kahit anong mga pagkatalo namin, it's not even close enough to make this wedding stop. Pinakita niya sa amin lahat ng signs for this to push through. For every step of our big decisions, he made sure that we make the right one. And of course, I would like to thank our, our Heavenly Father who, be, who never stopped believing in us. Na, na, we will be the real end up with each other. For all 